Hi everyone! Today's look is the last makeup video for this Halloween series. I hope you guys get some good ideas of what you're gonna be for this year Halloween. This last look is intended to be a little bit more scary and horrifying, but still pretty, of course. I even get freaked out looking at my face while I was editing this video. Let's get started! First, I'm gonna show you how to do this ripped or ruined skin. It's very easy. All you need is a glue stick, tissue paper cut into small pieces, and fake lashes glue. First, apply the glue onto the area where you want the ripped skin to be. Don't worry, this is safe and easy to remove when you need to remove your makeup at the end of the day. Then stick a cut tissue paper onto the area, then wait for it to dry. Stick another piece of tissue paper on the top. Some people use glue stick all the way, but I find it easier to use fake lashes glue because it gives the skin a rotten looking texture, which is what we're going for in this look. So it's kind of like cracked, ripped, and ruined. Repeat the steps over until you get the thickness that you want. Apply foundation all over the face. You're gonna notice the texture's difference, but it's okay. Apply the foundation thicker than you normally would. Don't forget to apply the neck area as well. Then use pressed powder to press gently onto your face. Fill in your brows thicker than you normally would and just wait for the fake skin to dry. Next, you want to mark where you're going to cut the skin it doesn't have to be precise. It's just good to know what you're doing and where exactly you're doing it. That sounds kind of weird, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Then use a tweezer to kind of pinch the skin so that there's a space for you to stick the cutter knife into. You can use a scissor for the step if you're scared of cutting yourself, but anyhow, be careful when you're using something sharp. Trace a cutter knife along where you marked. Just make sure you don't cut in too deep. After you get the cuts that you want, Use black cream color and dab it on the holes and cuts. This will make the wound more realistic. Then use red, apply over where you just applied the black cream color. Make sure you use pencil brush or fluffy brush for this so that the colors will kind of scatter out. You don't have to be precise, try to make it dirty. Then use dark brown eyeshadow and start messing with the wound a little. Use your creativity and paint around the wound area. Okay, now you're done with the rib skin. Phew! Apply eye primer to prevent eyeshadows from creasing. Next, use black cream color and apply it at the outer part of your eyes and blend it in. Next, select this grayish purple color and apply on the crease Using fluffy brush to blend it out. 
You want this look to be smoky and dark. Then use a sheer brown color and apply at the outer part of your eyes, just to darken them up a little. Then line your eyes using black pencil liner. Make it dramatic and dark. Then select a matte black color with a blending brush. Apply at the most outer part to make the look more smoky and dramatic. Then curl your lashes and apply mascara. Apply false lashes of your choice. The more dramatic they are, the better. Apply matte cream shadow on the brow bones for highlight. Then for this look to be realistic and crazy, I added lines using liquid liner like so to create cracks along the cuts. By this time, the fake skin will be dried so it's easier to draw on it. Lastly, apply a dark red lipstick as a finishing touch. You may want to use lip liner or brush to make the lip shape more precise and fill in the color to thicken it up. And that's finished look! So that's it for this year's Halloween series, guys. I hope you guys enjoy all the ideas I have created and filmed as videos. Sorry about the smoke. I just want it to look as fun and interesting as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please like, subscribe, and or comment on this video. And don't forget to check out my Facebook fan page for more photos and updates. Oh, and don't forget to check out the giveaway contest rule that will be post up on my Facebook fan page in Halloween's day. Until next time, take care and be very good to yourself.